Hey, Stock Centeno, and let's talk a little bit about CSF leaks and rubber meets the road issues. Now, this happens all the time, where I will get an email from a patient uh, who has already been diagnosed with CCI, but they're concerned about CSF leaks. So they see a provider who specializes in that, and they see a tiny little smudge on the MRI, and they think there could be a CSF leak. So they're headed down that track. And a, and a common question is, should I get a blood patch before I see you and treat my CCI? And my answer is generally yes, but you have to realize that unless you patch the exact right spot on target, that a blood patch for a CSF leak is useless. So what does that mean? A blood patch only extends to a small region where you inject it in the spine. So if you had a leak, let's say at S1, and you were to inject the upper lumbar spine and not the lower, it's not gonna do anything for your CSF leak. Um, so you have to get on target. So obviously if that's an easy procedure, a blood patch to get, and they know what the target is, and you're going to get a blood patch that's on target, then by all means, rule that out first. Now, you should feel great within anywhere from minutes to hours, and if that doesn't happen, you don't have a CSF leak or they're not on target. So hopefully this helps understand that concept that accuracy in blood patching with CSF makes a huge difference in outcome. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Hey, get this out to more patients by like, comment, share, subscribe. Thanks so much.